Hello and welcome to the text leader's explanation of what a binary plan is and how to be successful using one. By the end of this, you're going to know all the mechanics behind a binary and how to place them, place new members in your own team. So here it is. There's you. You're basically building out two legs. Each one's a sales team and you get paid on the short leg. You get paid on all the activity below you, whether you sold the account or somebody below you sold the account that you didn't even sponsor. So by the end of this video, you're going to understand what I mean by that. It's important to remember activity is measured in customer points and customer points are based on customer sales. They are equal to 50% or more of the dollar amount sold. So an example would be if somebody below you sold $100 or even you sold $100, that would equate for 50 customer points for your business. So here, here's exactly how it works. There's your sponsor and they just got introduced to the business and they sponsored you right away. But before you had a chance to sponsor anybody, they sponsored someone else. Now since that person came in after you, they're gonna go below you on that shared sales team. But before you could even get started, somebody above your sponsor sponsored someone and that person again goes below you because you came in before them. <clears throat> When you finally get your person, you want to put them on that same leg that you're getting momentum on right now, and you'll start to notice if everything's going correctly, you're going to have some building with some more building without direct efforts of your own. So when you go ahead and sponsor your second person, now you're qualified to earn on a binary compensation plan. Because remember, you get paid on the short leg. So you want to try to keep these even all at all times. So go ahead and sponsor your third person, put them on the shared leg. And then you're going to notice this person just experienced the same thing that happened to you when you joined the business. You had somebody put right underneath you. So if you're not sure which one your shared leg is, it's the one that's starting to pick up speed without any direct effort of your own. Because the people above you are going to be building their own teams and putting people in this shared leg. Doesn't mean you want to give up on it. Ideally in this business, you want to put some more people and have them create their own momentum. And after you sponsor your third person on this shared leg, you should be through. In theory, in a good binary, if you sponsor three people on a shared leg, it should continue along with the momentum so that no one has to build that leg out again. So that's the theory behind putting three on the shared leg and then focusing all your efforts on your short leg. <clears throat> You're gonna notice when you get back here though, some building is going to start happening on its own. Your team is going to start sponsoring people and building their own teams. So you want to focus all your effort on the weak leg and start putting people on the outside. Those people are going to need to put two people on each side of their business and you're going to ask them to also put three people on the shared leg. This is going to create momentum for you and you keep putting people on the outside of your leg. Now in some instances you might want to put them on the inside of your leg if you need somebody to qualify, if you need somebody to reach another level to qualify for another bonus for yourself. That would be an example of why you'd put somebody not on the outside. So what you're ultimately looking for is duplication. And you'll see these two that I've, I pointed out, they're starting to get duplication. They're sponsoring a lot of people themselves and their teams are starting to build out and you're going to start seeing some organizations pop up. Just like you're building your own organization, people are going to be building organizations within yours. And that's when the real money comes in. When people start building organizations within your organization, you'll start seeing momentum really in action. And your sales team can look like that. So when a binary goes bad, take a look at your sponsor. Now if your sponsor only sponsored three people that never did anything, and you, they're only getting paid on the three people who never did anything. So that's an example of a binary gone bad. Someone who had a great thing going on on one leg and did nothing about it to leverage it on the other. So thank you for watching. I hope this helped you to understand what a binary compensation plan is. Have a great day.